Black Panther is one of the most highly anticipated titles coming out of Electronic Arts in the near future. It's being developed by Cliffhanger Games, a fresh studio housed in Seattle that's yet to prove itself. But there are high expectations that it will deliver with the upcoming Black Panther game. Not much is known about the developing title, but a recent job listing offers a strong, almost irrefutable nod to the game boasting an open-world sandbox setting. In a recent job listing posted by Electronic Arts, the team at Cliffhanger Studios is asking for a principal sandbox designer to step up to the Black Panther theme plate. This is particularly interesting post as it makes several references to an immersive open world environment being created as the foundation for Black Panther. One, we'll be instrumental in designing and populating encounter systems and gameplay with a dynamic and evolving open world. Two, mechanics that contribute to a rich sandbox environment. And three, contribute to a living, breathing game world. That is enough to make Marvel fans weak at the knees and an open world Black Panther game that lets them explore the vast beauty of Wakanda. Not only that, but it's being pinned as a living, breathing world that will evolve and remain dynamic as the player explores it. There are high expectations as the lead on the project is Kevin Stevens, who previously worked on Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War, a fantastic open world duo rooted in the heart of Lord of the Rings franchise. And personally, I don't hate the idea of Black Panther, especially if they kind of put it in the same world design as like Shadow of Mordor. Uh, I, th I think that would be very interesting. The only real issue I have with it is I don't think it works well in a modern Black Panther, uh, especially with the space-faring Wakanda and the hyper-advanced civilization. Now, if you told me that this was going to be about T'Challa's grandfather or father, depending on when the game takes place, like 1960s, that isn't like hyper advanced civilization, but one that's more rooted in spirituality and ancestralism. But a, a Wakanda today, I, I don't know. Then again, maybe the whole story doesn't take place in Wakanda only, but all over the world with Black Panther going on missions and meeting other Avengers. I, I guess what I'm getting at is that I can see this being a great Spider-Man, Daredevil, Batman type game where our hero defends a city or even a small state and countryside like Far Cry. But I don't know if it can work with Black Panther. I mean, what, what villain could have the ability to invade and bring Wakanda under their control? Either way, I'm excited to see them try, and I hope they just blow me away.